everybody. Wayne here. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a what's in the box. I'm going to open up the box of this of this kit. This is uh, the, the latest release from round two, AMT round two of the, uh, this is the, the Grand Prix Shelby Cobra, the Cobra Racing Team. And uh, uh, you get... Um, Everything inside of it is still in, is still in, I have opened it, but everything inside of it is still in bags because I'm not really sure when I'm going to, when I'm going to build it. So, uh, you know, please bear with me. We will, we will get through this. Anyways, uh, you do get the three, you do get three kits in here. You do get the truck, you do get the, uh, the Cobra and you do get a trailer. Um, I have looked at some of the parts and with the truck, you do get, you can build it in uh, a minimum of three versions. Uh, the Shelby, you can build it a minimum of three versions, and then the trailer is the is the trailer, it's just uh, the standard uh, AMT trailer. Um, the this the, there should be no surprises as to what's in what's in uh, in the kit. Um, the the truck itself, the last was I guess it was a couple of years ago it came out maybe two thousand fifteen, where it's the gold one on the box. You could build it as a custom one. That's the truck. Uh, it's a standard 53 Ford. Um, they've been they've been just repopping this thing for since uh, JC wore water walkers. And uh, same with the Cobra. The last time the Cobra was out, it's not in production anymore. It was, it's not in its circulation. But it was the gold King Cobra, and it, and it comes with that funky top on it. All that stuff is in the kit, and uh, so there should be no surprises. So let's get rid of the box top. And this is the way you get it. There's nothing, um, nothing is separated. Nothing is, uh, it, this is, this is the way you get it. You get it, just everything, all the bags just thrown into, just thrown into a, uh, into a box. The only thing I've done is move the, is move the instructions to the bottom. When I first opened it, the instructions were on top and everything was just like this on the inside. So, um, we have the glass for both the Shelby and for for the Shelby and for the truck, I'm not going to take it out of the box. Like I said, I'm not sure as to when I'm going to build this, so I'm going to try and leave it in the bags. Uh, the tires, there is a, a whole boatload of tires uh, for whatever version you want to build. There are street tires for the, for the Shelby. There are wide whites for the truck. There are skinny whites for the Shelby. And then there's a blue, a blue streak uh slick for the shelby as well so there is a boatload there is a boatload of tires and metal axles there's uh one two there's one for the trailer one two three four there's four metal there's four metal axles and then i thought these were pins but these are actually those aluminum injector tubes for the fuel injection system so for one of the versions of the race for one of the race versions of the Shelby. So so that's always good to have. So right there you're getting an AMT parts pack um, for the for the for the aluminum tubes, the injector tubes. For the chrome, this is the only chrome tree for the truck. And again, um, again you can you can do there's three variations. You've got the stock grill, you've got one custom grill, and you've got the second custom grill. Baby moons, they look really, really sharp. Uh, I may use those on the truck whenever I build it. Uh, it comes with lake pipes and a lot of chrome parts for the uh, for the for the engine, and uh, it also has. Um, one, two, three. It's also got the four, the four carburetors here, for the custom version, and then it comes with the stock with a, with a, with another hub cap on another on another sprue tree out the back. For the Shelby, you get you get two different versions of the uh, you get two different rims. You get a, a torque thrust for the racing, and then you get the uh, uh, the wire wheels for the street versions. Three different grills, uh, depending on how you want to build it. Again, it's got Weber carburetors here, plus it's got uh, set up for a for a I believe. Uh, there are single. Uh, I'll have a, either a single four barrel or a dual four barrel situation, and then of course you got the aluminum, the aluminum. Uh, and oh, Lord, didn't see these. These have the um, 
um, Shelby rims that came, I always thought these were just available on, on a Mustang, on the Shelby GT350s in 60, 65 and 66. The Hurst wheels. Well, isn't that something? Okay, so I know the version I'm going to build into this one. I didn't see that. Helps to turn the packaging over. Um, again, not going to take it out of the bag. But this is just the, the front clip of the, of the truck, the cab. And from looking at it, when, when I was looking at it, they must have really cleaned up the seam lines on it because there is very little flash. There's very little seam lines on it. So they must have really cleaned up the, up the, uh, up the molds for this. It looks good. And same with the Shelby. Uh, the Cobra itself, opening trunk. Uh, you know, it's just a little 289 that goes inside of it, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, very, very little minimal cleanup on it. Minimal cleanup on these bodies. They look good. And then after that, it's just parts for, for everything. Um, this one here is the other major body panels for the Shelby, the trunk. Uh, one of the tonneau covers, and then you've got the uh, the hood, some exhaust, just bits and bobs. This is going to be a parts pack for the truck because it has the flathead. So therefore, this 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 bag here is for the truck. It's got the welding tanks on it, so it's so it has all the parts to make it the service truck. And these would be easy to recast, so, you know, put them together and cast them cast them in resin and then you've got them for for anything we have another bag for the for the uh for the truck this one has the custom back the custom rear fenders because you've got the the cutouts for the 57 corvette taillights suspension and another set of in another set of steelies so that's yeah so that's quite a few different options for for wheels, for wheels and tires for the uh, for the truck. It even has a jack. There's a fire extinguisher. Uh, so there's all kinds of bits and bobs to make this to make this kit. Stock parts or parts for the stock, stock rear tools, a hammer, screwdriver, pliers, and some wrenches. So it's all it's all there. Uh, they haven't taken any they haven't taken anything out of the kits when they put this together. Uh, this is the engine for the for the Shelby for the Cobra, the door hinges, and then here is here is that funky roof that's in it that they show f for one of the versions. I don't know, but there is that funky roof for the Shelby itself. And of course, last is the trailer, and it's all just in one bag, plastic wheels. Not many parts to it. And then you get your three sets of instructions. One for the truck. One for the, the, the 63 Cobra. And one for the trailer. And the one for the trailer is one piece of paper. The only other thing in there is are the decals. I'm not going to take them out. So I have no idea what's inside for the truck. Like as far as gauges or whatever have you. But there's a lot of stripings. There's a lot of numbers. There's not a lot of rondelles for the for the Shelby, so um, that's about what I know about that. Uh, the kit itself, like I say, I'm I'm fine with the with, with the kit. I mean, the kit's the kit. I mean, you you gotta start like for me. Um, I have to start looking at subject matter. I can't be I can't be listening to all the crap on Facebook and. Uh, and some of the YouTube saying, oh, well, AMT this and MPC that and and uh, Ravel this and crap like that. And I buy it for the subject matter. I'm a model builder. It, it's, you know, I wanted it for the race team. This is not, this is not the version that I wanted. The one I wanted was just the truck and the trailer. Um, it was, I think, I, I found it a couple of times either uh, on eBay or on a couple of model sites, but I wasn't paying the money for it, for the for the uh, for those. Um, you know, there's another version out there where uh, you get the uh, the truck, the trailer. That's called was it called Diamond in the Rough? I think uh, Lazy Eyed Modeler did a version, uh, did a little spiel about it, 
And, uh, you know, so I got this one here. As soon as it came out, I was, I was able to pre-order it from, from uh, my uh, hobby store in Mississauga. Uh, as soon as I was available, to, you know, I ordered it and it finally came in. It took about two and a half months to get it in. So uh, it's an expensive kit, you know. Uh, I got it at a good deal. I got it on a Black Friday sale. So I didn't pay full pop for it anyways. So I figured, well, I might as well treat myself. I knew I wasn't going to get it till January anyways. So I thought, well, I might as well treat myself. This is something that I've always wanted was the truck and the trailer. So for what I paid for all three, uh, the other kits were just for the truck and trailer were, the, were basically the same price. So for me, you know, like I say, so you, you're going to have to think long and hard about it. Um, what I've been waiting for, I've been, uh, and hope he still does it, um, Chris from HPI Guy. He's been doing a great job on on reviewing and building these these new uh, kits from from uh, Ravel and uh, AMT or from Round Two, and uh, so I hesitated on doing this just in case he does one and does a build, and that which would give a, another another uh, good example of it. So, but anyways, I'm going to run this thing through, and like I said, I don't know when I'm going to build it. It's not really on my radar right now, and uh, we'll see where see where we go. But you know. It's a nice kit. It's nice and clean. It, you know, it, and uh, we'll just get at it. Whether it gets built all together all at once or whether I build the truck and then the Cobra. and I don't know yet. So, but anyways, I hope this helps uh, by seeing what's in the box, what you get in the box. But I don't think it was any surprise to anybody as to what it was. Uh, the guy from round two on the little videos gave a good description of it back in November as to what it was. And what was in the box so uh, you know pick it up it's it's a it's a decent kit it's a you know it's a 53 Ford you know so uh, it's there pick it up anyways until the next time everybody cheers